Do you think I'm blind or something? There was a guy in this room just now. You cannot have seen him. I don't know what your game is, Siva. First you tell me Zoot is dead, then you tell me there's some guy in my room? There was. I heard you talking to him. Oh. What were we saying? I couldn't hear. Of course not. Because he doesn't exist. Don't try to screw up my mind, Siva. What's going on here? Nothing. Siva just came to wish me good night. Didn't sound like it. Well, it's true. Isn't that right, CV? Yeah, that's it. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get my beauty sleep. to me. Cheers. My dear. Oh, Celine, I had a terrible dream. It was so horrible. I went into your room, but I couldn't find you. Hey, chill. Chill, Mouse. It was just a dream. Only a dream. <laughs> Why don't you come back to me when you got a real life problem? Then maybe I can help. What? You're right. Of course. I'm not the one having bad dreams, am I? I got it. Cheese. That's what it is. Too much cheese. The mouse ate the cheese. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, isn't it? Celine, you're acting really weird. Am I? Really? Well, good for me. Mm. Are you leaving? Where are you going? Back to bed where it's less scary. Search yourself. We don't care, do we? <sighs> Wanna see some fireworks? Oi! How much power are we using here? Enough. We can up the voltage anytime we think it's necessary. I'm warning you, Siva. If you're cooking up something behind my back... That's rich coming from you. What was the row about? What is it always about? Zoot. Now Ebony thinks he's dead for a second time. Listen, sister. All we have to do is convince Ebony that she imagined Zoot being killed. I don't want any part of this anymore. Get your boot off my hand. You want out of here? I told you, you can take your chances out there. I might just do that. Because now I know what a callous, nasty, underhand piece of work you really are. She's your sister, yet you're happy to destroy her brain. You make me sick. Have it your way, CV. But remember, it won't just be the Zootists or Mega's thugs you'll be running from out there. It'll be your nasty, callous, underhand big sister you'll really have to watch out for. I had this really weird dream about you last night. About me. Hey, I had a bad dream too. We're in this big fancy swimming pool, and I was wearing this really nice leopard skin bikini. Celine? Not now, Mouse. And you're admiring my style. Swimming, you know. Then suddenly, I got a cramp in my leg. It was awful. I was sinking. But you dived in and pulled me out. You saved my life. 
You're so brave. Oh, I mean, in your dreams, because you wouldn't have drowned. You know, no one ever dies in their dreams. Is this a private conversation, or can anyone join? No, 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 of course not. No, sit, sit down. idea is this. She's determined to ruin the whole operation. Really, Siva? Suddenly I'm scared. You don't understand. She's threatening to tell Ebony the truth about everything. About Daryl, about Zoot. What if Ebony starts believing her? She won't. But she might, and then what? You're still giving her doses of paradise? Of course. Then I can't see what the problem is. The program needs verbal reinforcement. If Siva starts telling Ebony the truth... Then you'd better make sure your verbal reinforcement is stronger than hers. Java, we don't want to renegade Siva on the loose, telling everyone about us, do we? Someone might listen. I don't care how you do it, but keep her on board. Business that slow, Ruben. Just taking five. Tough clue. Hit me with it. Why would I want to waste my breath? Because I might know the answer. Noisy steps taken to give entertainment. Three and five. Where have you been? Out. What's in your bag? A couple of bits to keep Ram out of your hair. If you bring that paradise junk into liberty... Oh, you know me better, Ruby. I don't know you at all, Slade. That's beginning to worry me. Well, you know one thing about me, though. I'm the king of crosswords. Tap dance. Barcoding. What do you think we are? Supermarket items? What's next, Mega? Sell-by dates? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah, well, you can't get much more desperate than tattooing information on people's skin. Why are you getting so heated up about this? It's not as if they're being microchipped. I should hope not. These people aren't criminals. It's for their own protection. And we need to know who's who and who's where. Otherwise, how can we stop the Zootists infiltrating the sector? You've built an electric fence. When has a barrier alone ever stopped people going where they want to go? And I suppose simple ID cards were out of the question? That would have been technologically regressive. This way they don't even have to think about it. It's simple, painless, can't be forged or lost, and it won't wash off. Why wasn't I informed when this decision was taken? You weren't here. Oh, so that lets you off the hook, does it? Well, let's just hope it works and keeps out the bad guys, huh? It'll work. It'll work just fine. And then, Jay, you'll thank me. Jack? Yeah, just a sec. Something on your mind? Yeah, uh, you, as it happens. What did I do? Well, I don't remember. That's the problem. Well, what do you want to remember? It's a bit embarrassing, actually. Hey, you don't have to be embarrassed with me. What? I mean... Have we or haven't we? Uh, did we or didn't we? What? Sorry, but I need to know. Um. <clears throat> yes, we did. We did. Um. And it was, it was good, uh, very good. I mean, it was the, the best. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, yeah, um, yes, we, 
we did. So why are we sleeping in separate bedrooms? This is great. Some of this stuff is of inferior quality, but I'm pretty sure I can build something here. You did okay for someone who knows nothing about computers? Well, thank you, partner. Question. Once I get this little baby here up and running, what's the grand plan? Before I tell you the answer, I want you to promise me something. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. Promise me that whatever I tell you doesn't go beyond this room. It's vital you tell no one. Understand? Oh, that's coming through loud and clear, cowboy. Not even Ruby. Especially not Ruby. I love secrets. <laughs> no, I'm not in here either. Don't worry, we'll find her. Hey, Schmidt, you've em How are you feeling? Um, better, I think. <gasps> hey, honey, look, Anne was feeling better. Hey, should we go find her something nice to eat? Mouse, you all right? <sighs> Oof. That's one hell of a secret. If you breathe one word. Don't misunderstand me, Slate. It's safe. The lips are sealed. Now, this stuff here is useless. I won't be able to get the D7 to interface with the prototype 3 and without that pathway. It's just not enough juice. It's like trying to fly an airplane using a steam engine. So you can't do it, huh? Hey, I never said that. <laughs> I'm Ram. I can do anything. All I need is the right equipment. Why don't you try and get hold of a Vixen 4? Then I should be able to link the elements together, and uh, we might be in business. I mean, we are talking about creating the most powerful motherboard on Earth here, brother. <laughs> You have no authority to come barging in here. I'm just obeying orders. You again? So tell me, whose orders? Yours? Megas? Aren't we supposed to all be in this together? Yeah. So why so rough? Why so aggressive? The new regime starts tomorrow. What's a regime? I know. I inspected the fence this morning. Then you'll also know that it's going to take a hell of a lot of power to keep that turkey cooking. I don't like the sound of this. You afraid of a little hard work, miss? No. I just prefer it on my terms and to be asked nicely. Tell me about it, but I'm just doing what needs to be done. Look, we'll try to be as fair as we can, but everybody has to do their share. This is the mole rats list. First up for tomorrow's work party is one Sammy. He here? Spit it out, Ruby. I just want to know where you're headed. Something I uh, forgot to pick up. What, stupid computer bits? I've got a good mind to ban them. But hey, this is liberty, and you can't stop progress. What kind of progress, Slade? Like, I want to know what you're up to with Ram. I'm keeping him occupied. That's not an answer. Well, it's the only one you're going to get. You're wasting your time, babe. Oh, Lex, if you're bored, go tidy the storeroom or something. How can I be bored when I'm with you? Well, you sure know how to woo a woman. Such an original statement. But unfortunately, water if a duck's back. If you resist me because you're waiting for Slade to notice you, you're in for a long way. Resisting you? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. And since when did you become my personal astrologer? You don't need to read the future to tell what Slade's thinking. OK. So now that you've got my interest, tell me, big boy, what is Slade thinking? 
ebony. He's sinking ebony. Sure. He's got the hots for us. Why is he going back to the city? You're wasting your time. No. You're wasting my time, Lex. And if you've got nothing sensible to say, then you can just stare to my face. The only reward I'm ever going to get from you is working down in the mines. We need power to keep the Zutists out and the city going. Or maybe you'd rather read in the dark and take cold showers. I have been very loyal to you. I have given you information you couldn't have got from anywhere else. And I'm grateful, but it would be suicide to make you an exception. If your name's on the list, you go to work. No. No more. Not until I see some sign of acknowledgement. I want you to track Siva. Tell me what she's been up to, who she's been mixing with. Are you listening to me? Of course. But there can be no rewards until we've established ourselves as the new power. We don't want to let the cat out of the bag, do we? You're right. Of course, you're always right. You are so clever. Just brilliant. You know, I really like coming to see you. Our little chats. I was just hoping for a little appreciation. To show that you care. Like I do. Take a look at this. This is how much I care. They wouldn't pay any ransom for her. That's what May told us. She said we'd better waste Celine. Otherwise, if she ever got free, we'd be dead men. I care not to show this to anyone. If you care to go track Siva, we wouldn't want this little home movie to fall into the wrong hands. Go. But you did drink them. So what if I did? What are you, my mother? No, we don't have them anymore. Stay would look after people. Leave me alone, Mouse. Why? So you can drink again? Go away! It's none of your business. Why do you have to be like this? Why do you have to be so hard? And why is it the same anymore? Mouse! you. Finished cleaning the storeroom? You serious? Yeah, I was. Well, pity that, because I was going to cook us up a real nice meal. Just you and me. But guess you blew it. You know, while I was standing there, I was suddenly struck by how good you look. Come on, Lex. I've been cleaning all day, and I haven't washed my hair for a week. Well, looks good to me. Lex, I'm getting really, really tired of this lovesick schoolboy routine. If you want to impress me, why don't you do something decent? Like tell your mole rat friends about this double-crossing mega guy. Get them in the picture. Tell them they're being conned. Well, I would. I tried, but the place is surrounded by guards, and if you've forgotten, I'm not exactly flavor of the month with the Zootists either. You really surprised me, Lex. I had you down as a lot of scuzzy things, but I never had you down as a chicken. Something I wanted to ask you as well. You got a problem? Well, sort of. I've been lying here thinking about what you said earlier. Well, that, that's what I came here about. It just kind of doesn't make sense. If we used to before, how come we don't 
anymore. Is it because I'm different? No. Am I different? No. I mean, you're the same. You're just, you know, as beautiful and intelligent as ever. The same, Ellie. How come you don't want to anymore? No, but I do. Okay, um... Okay, okay I'm, I'm sorry, okay, I lied. Um, we've never done it. We've, we've never slept together. I just thought if you thought we had, then maybe you'd want to again. Even though... It's okay. So, what are we going to do about it? <laughs> mm. You mean... You know how long I've wanted to go through with this? Yeah. Of course. It could never be anyone but you. It's you I've always wanted. <laughs> Elliot, okay, you mean the world to me. It's just... I don't have any... Protection? Jack, Jack, always so practical. Look, relax, it's all taken care of. It's a mystery. Will I see you again tonight? In a from suit? Or his enemy? Hey, Mouse, shouldn't you be in bed? I don't want to. Afraid of the boogeyman? Aren't you? No. And I'm not going. To sleep? No, to the work party, stupid. Tomorrow. But you have to. Says who? A bunch of stupid technos? I'm not gonna let them boss me around. I don't care what they're gonna do to me. I'm not going. Jay, hi. Amber, up and about. Yeah, raring to go. <laughs> That's good. So, do you think you'll be strong enough for the barcoding tomorrow? Sorry, that statement doesn't quite compute. Amber, we had a visit from the Technos today. They want to brand us with some kind of ID. It'll help us to... What? It's for the best. Excuse me? Just so that we can distinguish... What? I don't understand this. Barcoding? What? How? Well, it's on your arm. Apparently, it's quite painless. It's a kind of tattoo. No. No! What kind of world are you trying to create here? Not one I want to be any part of. No, Jay. I'm not strong enough to be barcoded. And I never will be. 